there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make diamond glitter inside of Photoshop. So this is just a slightly different take on the regular glitter. I'm going to use a slightly different process because we're going to have to remove all of the black from the glitter to give it that white diamondy look. And we're also going to add the flares to it to give us some extra shine on here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, I wanted to show you the inspiration for making this type of glitter. Sarah Shaquille. She has a ton of followers. She's really known for this style of photography. So where she adds this glitter overlay here. And she does this on almost all of her images where she's adding this glitter texture. And this style is really popular on platforms like Tumblr. So if you are on Tumblr, you've probably seen something like this before. But this is the type of glitter that's used to create that specific look. So I'm going to show you how to create some of these. I might show you uh, probably these three right here. I'm not going to show you how to create all of these, but I am going to show you how to play with the uh, blend modes and things like that in order to get a lot of these different looks. And you can also pick these up on my website if you're interested in just having an entire collection of the diamond glitter. But I am going to show you how to create these on your own. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come here to File, New. I'm going to start off with a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel document. I'm leaving this up at 300 resolution because I think that these lend really well to images and photographs and if they get printed then you want a higher resolution for this. So I'm going to go ahead and click create and I want to quickly give you my foreground background colors here. So the the background color is going to be D E D E D E. So we don't want a completely white background because we want that glitter effect. So the brilliant white color is going to be the glitter, the little shine sparkly part of the glitter. So we're going to bring this color down here on the background in order to make that look even brighter with the white. That's going to be the background. And then our foreground color, I have 797979. This is the base color that we're going to be working with. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock that background layer and rename this base. And then I'm just going to press Command and Delete, Control and Backspace to fill it with that background color. So that lighter color is going to be there. And now we're going to add another layer. And I've already set these two colors right here. So I'm going to come in here to my gradient tool. I'm choosing this gradient. This is foreground to background. I'm using this one right here, which is uh, reflected gradient and mode and normal opacity. Everything uh, is normal. And I'm just going to come here and make kind of a line there. Now I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object just so that I can make changes if I need to. We're going to end up rasterizing this in the end anyway. So I'm going to come up here to filter noise. We're going to add a noise. We'll leave our noise about uh, 85. Our distribution is going to be Gaussian and we want to make sure that monochromatic is checked. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to come back up to filter. This time we're going to pixelate and pointillize. We're going to leave our cell size at 3 and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to right click and duplicate this layer. I'm going to call this number 2. So I'm going to call this one number 1. So we have our base, we have layer 1 and layer 2 here. Okay, starting with layer 2, I'm going to right click rasterize this layer. We're going to come up to select color range. Make sure that shadows are selected here. You might have it at sampled color. We need to make sure that it's on shadows. Our fuzziness will stay at 20% and our range uh, will be right around 100. You can bring it down to maybe 80, 85. I'm going to leave mine at 100 and I'm going to click OK. You'll see all of these marching ants here. On your keyboard, you're just going to press delete. You can press it a couple of times just in case and then press command and delete to let that go. Right now you're not going to see much of a difference because we still have this layer showing. I'm going to turn that off so you can see how it's removed the majority of that really dark color. So we have this light glittery look. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off now and I'll turn number one back on. I'm going to right click, rasterize this layer and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come here to 
select color range. Make sure that this is on shadow, fuzziness, 20%, range, I'll take down to about 85 on this one and I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on my keyboard, delete, command and the letter D to let it go. I have uh, pretty much the same thing that I had before. So you could get this look that you're looking at right now with just the one layer. I added layer two in order to give you a little bit more range. So if I turn this back on and I start working with these layer styles here, you can see that you're getting these different uh, colors here. So I'm gonna just add a linear burn to this so I can have this darker color. So working here with the layer modes is going to be the key to getting different types of glitter. From what I showed you before, all of these, it's basically the same thing except that I started working with the layer modes and adding and removing layers and doing things like that in order to get different effects here. Now this one right here, these two right here are a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to get that here in a minute. I'm gonna come here to this right here. I made these beforehand, but I am gonna show you how to create the flares that we're gonna be using. So that's gonna be, you know, all of this kind of glittery stuff that you see here. The one that we're working on, it's just kind of flat and we do need to add that light reflecting. And I find that the best way to do this is um, just to make my own flare. I, you can use uh, flares here inside of Photoshop. It's uh, grayed out right now, but if you come here to render uh, flare, you can definitely get that there, but it's not gonna give you the same star look. And I really like this. So let me show you how to get this quickly. So I'm going to add a new layer here. I'm going to come here to my brush tool and I have a soft round brush that I'm using. So that's going to be right here in default brushes. It's this first one, soft round. And right now it's at 100. It doesn't really matter. I can shrink these and resize them later, but I'm going to choose a different color, maybe like a, a light blue or something. So it doesn't, the color doesn't really matter. You can change that later on as well, but you need something other than white for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click once to give me this circle right here. And now I'm gonna choose just a basic white color. And I'm gonna come back here and lower the size of this. So I had it at 100, right now I have it at 70 and I'm just gonna click one more time just to get that bright white center. I'm gonna bring the brush size back up to 100 and I'm gonna add a new layer and I'm gonna just click letter V on the keyboard to bring up my controls. I'm gonna hold the shift key and then just drag this down to about um, 35 is fine and then I'll drag it way out. We'll just go with 700 and and then 35 for the length just to get us a good even number. I'm gonna hold the option key, alt key on a PC and then just drag it down, grab the handle, hold the shift key and then drag it to 90 degrees. In my case, negative 90 degrees. So I want these two fit together. Bring that over. Okay, so we have those two there. Let me bring that up here. And I'm gonna press Command and the letter E on my keyboard. That's just gonna merge those two layers together that I had selected. And I'm gonna put this over this. I'll probably bring this up over here so we get that color over the top. Now I'm just gonna select this one, Shift, select layer one, Command and the letter E just to merge them all together. And this is basically the flare that we're gonna be using. Okay, so basically what I did with these is I created the first one here and then I'm gonna bring this down in size, put it over here in the corner and I made this in a whole bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna press the option key just to drag out a few of these. I think I made like eight or nine of them, uh, but we do want that, this rainbowy kind of, you know, where it's capturing light in different colors, which is uh, what you would see on a diamond. So I'm going to come here to the adjustment layers and I'm going to choose hue and saturation. I'm going to clip this to that layer right there and just 
drag it around until we're working with this one right here but we're going to drag it around until we get a different color so i'm okay with that and now i'm just going to uh, hold the shift key grab that command the letter e and then i have that one i'm going to move to the next one basically i'm just going to go through all of these and create these flares in different colors okay once you have all of the flares together we're going to go ahead and group them command the letter g and group all of those i'm going to hit the letter v to bring up these controllers and i'm going to bring this down of course we don't want them to be so uniform like this so what i'm going to do is just move these around a little bit we want something a little bit more random so we're going to just you know turn them in different directions move them like that i'm going to move this up here into the corner i'm going to make another copy of this make this much smaller so we don't want them all the same size so we'll just you know kind of add add them in here move these around copy these again bring them down um, and spread them all over the canvas like this uh, but i'm gonna grab the one that i've already made i'm gonna duplicate this layer and put it inside of untitled one which is the one that we're working on so let's go back to that and turn this on so this is what it looks like at this point you can turn this right here into a pattern by coming up to edit define pattern um, and then turn that into a pattern uh, or you can you know you can do that and then also keep going with this I want to show you uh, changing the color of the base so I'm going to change it to white and you can see that it does change uh, the look of this if I change our base color to black you can see that you're getting this darker color which is how we got uh, this right here but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this that gray color grab that top one holding down the shift key and the bottom and then command in the letter G to group those option on my keyboard and I'm gonna just drag this up so I'm gonna select this copy command the letter E control letter E that's just gonna flatten that into one layer and I'm going to use this to show you how to get this right here so we're going to come back over here and I'm going to come here to filter filter gallery and from here uh, we're going to be working in the distort folder so if you uh, you know we're just coming in here you choose right here distort we're choosing glass for the distortion, I've chosen four, smoothness of five, my texture is frosted and I've scaled it to up to uh, about 150 or so. And then you can also add paint daubs in here if you want an even wider look. So this one, uh, paint daubs is going to be inside of the artistic folder and that's going to be right here so you don't want a lot going on with the paint daubs it's just to give it just a brighter look I'm not going to use paint daubs for this one so I'm just going to click OK without it and this is the finished glitter I created this just to kind of give you an idea of how this is used this is just a really quick thing uh, you can see I removed the background and I added that same glitter here to the background and then I added the glitter to her bikini so let me show you let me go back over here so the the glitter used on her bikini is this one right here and then the glitter used for the background is this one right here so we have these two so let's go back here so you can see on the bikini that you're getting that kind of like bright color but if I come in here I'm using a blend mode of pin light to go over the bikini uh, if I move this to say vivid light then you can see some of the color of the bikini um, also screen is gonna make it a super super white so depending on the mode that you're using for some of these you're going to get different effects I'm going to change from that really white uh, one and then I'm going to add this one where we added the filters inside the filter gallery so you can see the difference that you're going to get this is with pin light I really like this look um, but you can also get some really different uh, styles as well just kind of by going through all of these 
The difference I like a lot, kind of has that cosmic look to it. But um, you get the idea. So it's just basically working with the, the blend modes when you add this to photos like this. So if you're interested in creating glitter inside of Photoshop, I do have a few other tutorials that you might want to look at. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description and up here so that you can take a look at those. Uh, but I have everything from just basic gold glitter to ombre glitters and um, even some, some other more fancy style um, shimmery glitters. So definitely take a look at those. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.